And that snowstorm will make traveling very dangerous. State officials are assembling teams of National Guardsmen to respond to emergencies throughout the state. They're working to help people be prepared. And KSNT News reporter Hannah Brandt is live in Topeka tonight to tell us what they're saying you need to know to be ready. Hannah. That's right, Molly. The roads might look clear right now, but in just a few hours, we're expecting near whiteout conditions in many parts of the area. And that's why officials are saying for tomorrow, just hang up the keys and stay inside. If you can delay your travel plans, that's really what we're advising people to do, just to try to stay off the roads. While officials are warning people not to drive, they know that some people will. Corinne Cox says she has to drive because she's taking her grandkids home from their holiday vacation. Well, they don't live too far away, but... Uh... Yeah, I guess I'm a little nervous. I don't like it when it's slick. <laughs> but she also says she's listening to the experts' advice and made an emergency kit for her car. I keep blankets and lighters and things like that and extra food in the car. Jessica Stahlbomber, on the other hand, has other plans for her family's Sunday. We'll probably stay home and stay warm. And she's hoping that she doesn't have to drive in snowy conditions at all this week. I'm hoping that it won't cancel or that it, if it is bad enough, school will be canceled. My job's really close, so... I'll be able to get where I need to be and be safe. So, But for those who do plan to travel during the storm, there are some things you need to do to prepare. Make sure you have a full tank of gas before you leave anywhere because if you do get stuck in the snow, that's going to be that's going to be keeping you warm if you are able to run your car and run the heater. So that, you know, we just make sure you have those emergency items available in your trunk. Make sure somebody knows where you're going when you're supposed to arrive. And if you do get caught driving in the snow and have to pull over, make sure that your tailpipe is clear. You don't want any sort of snow or debris blocking this while the heat is on because that can send carbon monoxide back into your car and that is toxic. Live from Topeka, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Hannah. Good information to know that.